in the same set, I remember it wasn't, tell me if I'm fuzzy. Um, I, the truth is, being month filled, talking about the first mission of Rafa, the DG, I think, um, Rafa, Rumi, I'll finish the state for you, um, speak for a few minutes about why I'm here. Um, I, I agreed, I did not prepare anything, it was just too, like, uh, too challenging, I guess, to stuff in, in writing, so. We'll see what I say in the book page, so I'm already in the call. Um, as Rafael said, I um, spent Shabbos at first gigs um, 14 years ago now. Um, nephew was a new for me, and I tracked on Shabbos. It's only, the only exposure I ever had to, uh, to the rabbi. Um, and uh, that was pretty much it. Like, uh, no, no call up Shabbos in it. Um, I, and the, that was in Nenam. The mice there was like five years later, I was in, I was in Australia, I went back, uh, back home. And I, I just remember very clearly um, the, the day that the news came up. I uh, remember exactly where I was driving, but I was listening to the radio and like, here's the way it works in Australia. It's similar to what like, we're doing on now, like, there's like a, a the end of the news cycle there. They say, oh, and by the way, there's like some terrorist attack in, in, in Jerusalem in, in the cinema. And it was like, okay, I, um, what about this? Following throughout the day, like, to get updates, and I was like, Terry, usually I'm, I, I don't really keep so close to, like, what's going on. It's like, I'll find out later. But then once I, like, I heard the names, I was just, like, very, very moved. And I, just, I had all these strong recollections from the Shabbos. And um, it was very, it's, and it's not like, like, people people see me here, they think, like, okay, every time, like, some people just kind of connect to, uh, Ego game or strategies like past month in Israel. Uh, it, was, it was something very specific and, and, and unique to 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 Rabbi Chersky and and for here at the Um So I will uh, I can try and share a few of these ideas. I said uh, some of the stuff I won't share because I think even basically because I would spend Shabbos with the nephew, the nephew can point out, look what he's doing, what he's saying, and like nobody can think. You know, like, you know he's intentionally doing it in a way that nobody has to notice it, but family can point out to you. So it's a certain story that I've told a few people on one here, but I won't, I won't, I won't check it out. Um, it was partial school dust. I also came to one of the crazy things. I just I remember every detail. I don't know how I remember partial school dust. I, I, um, I, I do remember it was the very late shot. So it was the middle of the summer. Um, and the reason why I remember that is because we went to Shul 8.30, they they some shelters. We finished up, and I was not long before, and I guess that's good, you know. I'm like, wait until they... And then, no, like, we open up tomorrow, you learn for two hours, and then you leave. And um, I was, I, 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 I um, yeah, so we, we had a real set, and not exactly, it was like two hours in the summer shelters. Again, the guys might look at me, because they, you, you, I, I was not used to, you, my friends didn't want me, nobody wanted me. Great. Came to the meal, started very late. I remember, I reckon it's uh, Mr. B. Uh, very, uh, very Hamish meal. Well, what, one thing that was pointed out to me, I think I read it in the uh, bits. If um, Rabbi Chelsea's mother was ever there for Shabbos, there was no learning. You go straight from Shul to, to like, there's a coffin here with it, everything that's done. Like, every summer, every, not even from it, just like, my school's done very quickly. Um, then, uh, yeah, even after, after doing the learning, I like, crashed, but obviously, uh, um, the rabbi continued. We woke up, we slept in a bit, but the rabbi very self and then back and learning. But, but, but even these things you, you learn, unrelated to somebody being like an exceptional person, like, the, 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 the value of time, the ability out of it, the regular shelves to extract under eight, nine hours of learning that the average person just doesn't do. And you're both doing the same thing, you're both doing meals and dumping, like, uh, everybody, everybody in the world can, like, get can learn from that. Um, and then, um, some formers, uh, which are, uh, I won't share, but what they, what was funny, after the Shabbos, uh, we kept more than a bit of time, like, we stood up to shape, and then tomorrow came back, packed up back, and then, like, left, and we were, like, staying at a Shabbat club, and, like, the was, she didn't say she was well back. Like, <laughs> not, like, <laughs> um, and I was, uh, so I learned, I forgot the Yiddish words for all the sort of things out there, uh, for being a time, etc. But uh, I learned that from that. Uh, 
And then it just, just uh, it came up with a very uh, a, a lot of uh, inspiration um, for the rest of the paper. Uh, that really, uh, unfortunately, it's only immune events like this to sort of verbalize it to others. But I guess that's, that's a responsibility for all of us to like, sort of in, internalize these things even when uh, there aren't uh, tragedies. Um, yeah, anyways, and then um, immediately I uh, came to the first serum because I was on the mailing list. I slept in Tel Aviv, I didn't have a car back then. Um, and thank God I didn't do late shelves, so I didn't get there. <laughs> Um, and then uh, ever since I've come, I've come every year, and it was a pleasure with Karumi and his family. And uh, yeah, so um, I didn't think what else I wanted to share on this point. Um, one last year, there was somebody, I think the massacre last year was also a Talmud of, I mean, the son of a Talmud. And he, one the point he said was, I, I, I never met him. Um, and I think that it's a very powerful, important thing. I think every year we should, we should there are people who, Sounds up to me when people are like learning about this for the first time and really like, carrying on this list, I guess. Um, so I'm very honored to sort of be part of that. Um, yeah, the other thing is, I probably called me to ask, well, like, you must have done it. Like, uh, if your family wants it, then uh, I can do it. Like, I'm not, I feel very out of place so, in front of uh, being someone who's climbing and people. So I'm just usually nervous with these things. And he said, no, you're important, not, not just the family, but for. Put for your father and for the just keep talking. I think that's true. Like, think of even if I, have, I don't have a black hat, so I couldn't even come in for a black hat on. I found my suit, but I couldn't find the black hat. And I think, um, especially where we are um, in the Muslim military, so today, there's um, every, every needs to do their own and that question about like, how can they, they improve. But one thing for me, on my own personal is that it's more of this, and I think that it's, it's very nice to come and that's sort of uh, speak here without that. Um, having said that, this, the office always needs to be rooted in Torah. So, I'll start with the first Mishnah. And by the way, on that point about being rooted in Torah, one thing is always, I've always noticed every single year here, it's, it's not a yard site shield. It's not a, um, it's not like a memorial site. It's, it's a seal of shots. Um, and I think um, it's also a, a very strong message. Everybody here, you can you can ask why or how or but that's all irrelevant. You have to ask what can I do now. Um, Rabbi Tosi's grandfather. Um, I uh, like there's some books that maybe some people in this room read, some people don't read. He, he was very one of Rabbi Tosi's famous uh, words about the other class was you can never ask why. All you can ask is is what do I do now. And it's the same thing um, with. Um, with what happened nine years ago, same thing that happened a month ago, same thing with every, every single thing that happened uh, in our daily lives. Um, so the what now is uh, first mission of us, right? As we, uh, let's go. Um, I, um, I, I, will, I will say a shtickle, a shtickle tar. And in fact, what I will do is I will connect, I realize it's going to bring some Friday morning. I remember what I was learning on that Friday night in our notes. Which connects to what I was showing the mission. Okay, so the mission says they must say, like, what, from what time can you read the Shema? Um, at night? And it means Shasha Kwan and Kasim is hot Jumata. From the time of Kwan and Kasim, you can And now the three of them are focused At what point do you stop? Can you, can you no longer say Shema? Rabbi Eliezer says it's until that Shema Rabbi Shema, which is about to be four, uh, 10 p.m. in the hours. And then Chachamim said until Tatsois. And then Rabbi Gamliel has a, 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 a story with his son. His son came back late from a wedding after midnight, and they said, What do we do? Do we say Shema? And he said, Yes, we should still say Shema. Because the whole Takana was just, Darkik as Adam in Alveira, Midoraisa, you can do the whole thing until Mona Shakar. Rabbi came and said, Early do it until Tatsois because they want, didn't want people to delay and then you fall asleep and start doing it. So, if you didn't um, uh, say Shema until that's it, so you should still say it now, you haven't said anything. Um, that, that's the Mishnah, I should read the text to make sure we do this. And then I'll say, Praise the Shema Baris, which I'll show you in the Nasein of Holy Shema Zan. I'll show you in the Shema Rishon, you're a Rebbe Ezer. I'll show you in the Shema Rishon, you're a Rebbe Ezer. 
Maisa, the story should all be not to be mixed. Mishnah, Amr, Lord, Karina, Shema, Amr, Lehem, Lord, Adam, and Shafa, I even have to be mixed. So, I'm going to show you you are obligated to say Shema even after minutes. But also, I'm going to show you how to say Shema even after minutes. I'm going to show you how to say Shema even after minutes. I'm going to show you how to say Shema even after minutes. And Rabbi Gamliel said this every single time of coming to say you can only do something until Chatzois, until midnight. Really, mid rice you can do it on a shakar, but they just made it kind of turning around for Chatzois. Um, like by uh, eating korbanos and being mocked here for loving with korbanos. In Cain, la manu chachamim and Chatzois, they didn't have them because they didn't have So why did Chachamim come and say until Chatzois? To just give you the bear. Now, if Shinas Chachamim, there is a, a big deal in the Rishonim and in the Chachamim about what is the nature of the Kana Mitzvah Chachamim to only say Shema to Chatzois. Um, according to Rabbi Gamil, it seems clear that it's just a it's Kana about what you should do with Chachamim. The Chachamim is to say Shema to Chatzois, um, to just say Shema to But you could say, some of the Rabbi Yonah, the meaning of Rishonim would say this, that what Chachamim did by making this Kana, you could only say Shema to Chatzois, they will not fear the ability to become the mitzvah um, if you say Shema after Chazor. So if we go to the Torah company says, you can say Shema the whole night. Um, but the Chachamim come in the talking, you have to go to Chazor because you don't really out. And therefore, if you come in 2 a.m. and you say Shema, you are not in the kind of mitzvah to This is an incredibly radical uh, ability of Chachamim to basically the Akkad Mitzvah in the Torah for Shei Bal Tyson. The Akronim take this so seriously that they are done about the question of is it Asur to say Shema after Chatzos? Um, the um, the pre Yitzhak, I think, and the Meshit, um, um, obviously, most of the most common agree, it's not us, but the, the fact that the asking is shy it shows how strong this kind of is. Um, we, we see this, um, so, so yeah, how does this get to what I've done in the Friday night, about uh, 40 years ago? I, um, is, is in the, the Gemarin Sukkah has a mock we see the Shaman about, like, you can sit in a Sukkah, that's mock Sukkah, it's Roy Shai, Rubo, the Shaman, you have to do that. They shall I come and say that if it's smaller than that, you can't sing the sukkah because there's a gazera that you might, like, it's too small, so you'll know, drag us about the sukkah and sing another two minutes. And in all the Mishnah, I said they have like stories about people sitting in the sukkah size. They shall I say again and again, in, if you did that, lo kiyamta mit sukkah miyamta. And also there, the Rishonim point out that according to the Shammai, I thought we had this ability where appropriate to make make a kana. If Midor writes it to push a sukkah, before the coming came, this is a push a sukkah, but Midor, Midor Avana, they come and stuck in, then now because um, because of the sukkah, you're not even going to do it in the middle of the sukkah. And there are a lot of other uh, places. I mean, we see it every year with but you know, enough years where um, um, Rosh Hashanah falls on Shabbos, or Sukkah falls on Shabbos, and Shabbos 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 falls on Shabbos, and they didn't uproot the village in every mitzvah. For example, um, Chachamim, Shaila, but like, by Sukkah and, and, and Shofar, and by Lula and Shofar, they said you can't do it, and probably Bavli is because you might be mad about the almost precious around the um, So why not by Brismila? Why do we have Brismila on Shabbos? So one of Shai's is Sukkah, is Chachamim uh, Hadjah. But another Shai is, if, if you say that, can't do the mitzvah of Mila at all on Shabbos. That means this kid will never be able to get a bris on any day. When you come and you make it with Zerish and the other in Shabbos, firstly, there, there are many other deals that say it doesn't apply um, in, in front of Tritayanim or in Malcolm Mikdash, but also you have all the other years you can do that. Some will never make it fun in a way that the mitzvah is up without the Um 
Anyway, I make more very speaks close. I also a few other hours. Simple, we can look at the um, tables from the past few years. Just the amount of document grammar that I've learned over the past few years it's because of this this um, this is to learn. It's, it's hundreds of documents. It's not just like a ten document. It's not like a, you, you do a few machines for a It's a real it's a real kingdom of work. Um, and. Uh, even when I do it with the, the mistakes from the Tafiomi cycle, it's not it, it's it's not obvious that I would I, really I can say from personal experience I would finish the mistakes without the cycles. Okay. Um, so I encourage everybody else to also uh, sign up and take, take on stuff. And uh, sure. 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 Sure.